Hey guys, it's Arcade and I'm back for another video and in this one I'm gonna show you a new plugin called Neutron Elements by Isotope and I'm gonna show you a few mixing techniques you can use with this plugin. It's actually pretty interesting so stay tuned and if you watch this video and like this plugin, link will be in the description below and right now there is a huge deal on this plugin. If you buy any plugin from Plugin Boutique at any price, you get Neutron Elements for free with that plugin. So make sure to check it out, it's a great deal. You can literally buy any plugin and get this one for free and this one by itself is like $200 value, so don't miss out on this deal. And right now, let's get back to the video where we're gonna use this plugin to mix my new track. And let's hear how it sounds with only some mixing. <laughs> So yeah, the composition and the sounds are there, but the mix is kind of bad. Right off the bat you can tell that all the sounds are kind of too loud and some of them like hurt my ear almost. So let's uh, fix that with Neutron Elements. So here is the first, first few sounds we're gonna edit, which is the top melody. So I put Neutron Elements on the mixer track with all these sounds that you just heard. And here it is. And it has a few great features that no other plugin has for mixing. So first of all, we're gonna edit this part of the song. And as you can hear, it's kind of too loud and some of the highs are in a way. So a nice thing about Neutron Elements that it does some things automatically for you. You basically press a button, it listens to the song and it makes the changes that it thinks are necessary for a good mix. That's kind of what it does with the track assistant right here. But we can also have some automated stuff in EQ right here. We just press learn and it will move all these EQ points to where it thinks it needs some adjustments and then you can adjust the EQ yourself but the points will be moved to the positions that probably need some adjusting. So let's press the learn button and play the song. And as you can see it, it adjusted the points and now we can just move the points and see what kind of a difference it makes. Okay, so I feel like here we can uh, lower those values and also maybe some of the highs. And of course, it only gives you some sort of a starting point. You can obviously add more points as you please. So I feel like I still wanna adjust the high frequencies here. Right about there, that's where I feel like it's uh, too noisy. So let's see, let's bypass it and hear the difference. So yeah, definitely a nice difference. One is kind of muddy and cloudy and the other one is more has more clarity. And that's exactly what I want. I also want to put a high pass here and do like a 48 dB and just delete the low frequencies like this. That's pretty nice. Uh, I don't want to really deal with the compressor, but I think the transient shaper, but the transient shaper is actually a really cool little element. Basically what you can do is either have the attack of the sound be less or more, which means if you put more attack, it will be punchy at the beginning of the sound. And if you put less, it will not be as punchy in the beginning. And then you can edit the sustain, which will be the opposite. If the sustain is high, the punch stays the same, but the rest of the sound is kind of sustained. So it's plays louder for a longer period of time and if you lower it then the opposite happens. So what I feel like this sound is a bit too punchy maybe. <laughs> 
So as you can hear, the extreme attack will make the sound super punchy, which is terrible. And this will basically lesser the punch. So yeah, I like it this way. It's not much of a difference, but I think it will go well in the mix. And that's pretty much it for these sounds, I think. And maybe we can edit them later as we listen to the rest of the track. But for now, that's it. I actually want to do one more thing. I want to take the piano, which is in the same mixer track, and I want to put it in a different track. Edit the piano separately. And then let's listen to the piano. So for the piano, I want a little bit of a different EQ. I actually do like the mids in the piano, so... So yeah, just editing the EQ a little bit more on the piano. Of course, you have to do a lot of stuff manually. You cannot just do everything with the automated system, but it actually does help quite a bit to just have this nice starting point. But yeah, so we have the melody and the piano. Let's hear it together. When I'm listening to it together, I think we actually can use the transient shaper with the sustain. So it boosts the piano a little bit more. Yeah, I like that. So now let's move on to the other sounds, which is the lower portion of this track. And it's the bass and this trumpet or brass. So we're not gonna edit the bass because that's just fine for me, but we're gonna edit this trumpet. So let's put neutron elements on it. And let's actually use the track assistant, which kind of detects everything about the sound and tries to make changes based on what it detected. So we wanna have this kind of upfront mid range, maybe. So let's select that, play the sound and hit track assistant, it will make all the changes for us. Let's see what kind of changes it does make. Now that's pretty interesting. Uh, I'm not sure if that's what I want. Let's see. Let's see how it sounds in the whole mix. <laughs> Should delete this sound for now. Yeah, let's lower this sound because I don't like it that much. And let's not have it in the first half for now. Oh yeah, I like the sound a lot more now. It's more uh, glued together, like it belongs together. What I want, I probably want to delete all the low frequencies from this sound since we have it supported with the bass. So let's do that. Okay, I want to have a little bit more lower frequencies here but just a little bit. And then maybe, let's see, compressor. Uh, I think that's pretty good. Let's uh, hear the whole thing and let's see. I 
Actually guys, I just had a listen on my studio monitors instead of my headphones and I feel like we can bring some of the frequencies back for the main melody. So just uh, bring them back a bit so it has more of the frequencies and that's pretty much it. I just brought some of the frequencies back and let's have a listen now. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I think we did a pretty good job. We smooth out the whole track, the whole mix. It's now more smooth and glued together instead of like kind of all over the place, which you can compare as well. Hopefully it translates well on YouTube as well. But yeah, and don't forget to check out the description to get this plugin for free with purchase of any other plugin. So if you buy any other plugin, you get this one for free. It's a great value. Check it out. Plugin Boutique. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.